heading out right now to the store. We're doing um, a big humanitarian buy right now for a village that doesn't have access to anything that they need, mainly hygiene products and bread. So that's what we're responsible for. And obviously we're gonna get as much as we can fit in the car. Paper. Toilet paper, toilet paper, toothpaste, soap blocks for cleaning, body, body soap. Skolka? Dad brought the muscles. <laughs> Dish soap. And diapers for adults. Batteries for flashlights because I'm not sure they have power over there. Things are starting to look a lot better, honestly, at the grocery stores. Sadly, they don't have any of the kids' yogurts that Kai likes or the kefirs that she drinks, so we're having to find substitutes. Egg central, like usual. We have milk now too, which we didn't have. And someone's even cooking a little bit again at the store. Overall, the grocery store is looking a lot more full than it has been, which makes me really, really happy. It means um, we are getting produce and farmers are working. The problem is that a lot of people don't have the money to buy the things that they need at the moment, at this moment in time. <laughs> Wow, look at these huge, huge galpalas. You've been making these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The dried fish. Looking pretty extravagant, if you ask me. We even have a little bit of fresh fish available. Courtesy of the fishermen, too. Carrots fresh from the ground, and potatoes, onions, barricade at all, alcohol section. No alcohol for Ukraine. Barricaded by Pepsi. They are out of Coca-Cola again though. No Coca-Cola, only Pepsi. One thing I'm definitely having trouble getting used to is all the armed men that I'm seeing in the store. You see like police and military and um, volunteers and all with weapons. So that's definitely different for sure. Yeah. Razors for shaving. Awesome. One thing I am noticing though, is that there are no tampons, only pads, and I have my period coming up, so lucky me. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I have worn a pad. But, you know, no tampons, only pads. First little trip done, we got the goods. Tomorrow we are picking up a bunch of bread that we ordered at the bakery here. 
and hopefully that will fit in the car too. And then we're going to meet um, with the driver that's gonna be taking all of the supplies to the village. We basically have volunteers in town that are doing trips like this as well. And it's all being collected and delivered to the people who need it most. We try to get in contact with villages and small, small parts of town where people have no access to um, food and the centrals because they either are in a battle zone or like a, where there's ongoing battles or they are in occupied territories. So those are regions we are definitely focusing on. And unfortunately the little village that we are collecting supplies for, they um, haven't had bread for this entire time. Entire time. Crazy. Just got some things at the pharmacy that they asked for. Bandages, um, and uh, things of that sort. Cafe is working. Exchange is working. Here comes the bread. Here comes the bread. We're here for the bread, guys. <laughs> here for the bread. So there are about 300 people in the village that we're sending this bread and the items to um, that haven't been able to even have a piece of bread the entire time the war has been going on since they ran out so hoping it makes it to them safely so that they can enjoy some nice fresh bread We got the bread. <laughs> now it's time to get it in the car. Full car of bread. Oh man. Some bread galore in here. Bread on bread on bread. Ooh. We got ourselves a loaf of fresh bread too. Breakfast. Breakfast with champions, guys. A loaf of fresh Ukrainian bread. Woo! Mm. We just passed some buildings and I could totally see like all the windows um, that have been like blasted out, broken glass. Insane. Trenches. Wow, guys, look at this. Absolutely nuts. Just tank hedges everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've just handed off the goods to these kind people and our hero driver who's going to the village. 
deliver all of the humanitarian aid that we have collected in the city. Um, so yeah, we wish them a well journey and looking forward to the people in the village getting all the essentials that they need. The last open car.